Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is the Orbital Observer, and on this channel I give weekly updates, called the Weekly Orbit, about everything that has happened in the space industry here on Earth, in orbit, and in outer space. Today we've got a special report about our little helicopter on Mars. Affectionately known as Ginny, the Ingenuity helicopter has recently had its last flight, sadly. So, what happened? Well, stick around and let's find out what has happened to this incredible feat of engineering. Let's get into it. It's not often that a helicopter lands before it ever took off. Well, that's exactly what the Ingenuity helicopter did. On the 18th of February of 2021, the Ingenuity helicopter touched down on the Martian surface while still attached to the Perseverance rover. A few weeks later, on the 3rd of April, the dainty helicopter touched down with all four legs on the Martian surface for the first time. After a few more days of checkouts, the helicopter finally took off. Initially, it was only planned for this helicopter to perform five flights over 30 sols. But this little helicopter just wouldn't stop. Eventually, over the lifespan of just under three years, a total of 1,004 days, this little helicopter performed 72 flights. 72 flights on another planet. That is just incredible. While still technically operable, unfortunately, this little helicopter has faced an early, late retirement, we could say. So what went wrong? Well, it didn't crash, so it's still standing on all four its legs, but it did unfortunately suffer some damage to the tips of a blade from its upper pair of blades and lower pair of blades. This means that the Ingenuity team has decided to call it a day and or rather call it a soul and stop flying the Ingenuity helicopter. This all might seem like a bit of a disappointment and it kind of is. I mean, we still would like them to fly it even with the damaged wing tips, but of course, they're the experts, they know what they're doing. But if you think about it, this little helicopter has had much more success than anyone could have imagined. Think about it, this is the first aircraft to fly on another planet. It really is an incredible feat of engineering and determination. I definitely tip my hat to everyone who has ever worked on this project and everyone who is involved to get this little helicopter on the red planet. This really is something that has never been done before. I mean, it's one thing to theorize about an aircraft on another planet, to think that it might work, to simulate and see that, yeah, it seems like it could work. But the only way to know if it would work is to actually try it. And try they did and succeed. Oh boy, did they succeed. To put this a bit into perspective, the Martian atmosphere is less than 1% the density of our atmosphere. For this helicopter to take off on our planet, its blades would have to spin approximately 240 RPM. But to lift its 1.8 kilogram body off the Martian surface, this little helicopter needed to spin its blades between 2400 and 2900 revolutions per minute. Yeah, imagine spinning those blades that fast with damaged wingtips. Not only did this little helicopter need to survive on the red planet, it needed to get there first. It took off on the Atlas V rocket, survived that tough experience. Also, it made a 29 week commute to the red planet, survived the entry into the atmosphere, a propulsive landing, getting winched down from the lander, and then finally touching down on its four dainty little legs. This little helicopter has probably racked up the most miles a helicopter has ever done. Speaking of that, here are some interesting stats about this little Ingenuity helicopter. It has worked hard. In total, it flew 72 times, has a total flight time of 2 hours, 8 minutes and 55 seconds, flew just over 17 kilometers, and reached a maximum speed of 36 kilometers per hour or 22.4 miles per hour for those who don't understand metric. 
In an agency statement, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated that the historic journey of ingenuity, the first aircraft on another planet, has come to an end. Although ingenuity has flown its last flight, it will definitely remain as a landmark, literally and figuratively, in the space flight industry. With its successes already being developed, I am very excited to see what the next generation of alien aircraft will bring. With that, we bring the special report to an end and we wish Ingenuity a comfortable rest and retirement. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to visit it one day in person. In a future video, we'll take a deep dive into the story of the Ingenuity helicopter. We'll look at its development, how it got to Mars, what problems it encountered on Mars, and more specifically, we'll look at the incredible feats of engineering that made all of this possible. If that sounds like something you would like to see, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on what else you would like to see in a future video. And that's it for today. My name is The Orbital Observer, and I hope you have a truly fantastic day. And until next time, keep looking up.